And the cool thing is you don't have to take your cheek wall off the off the right one. We have a Fox Unit X1 here. It's a non-semi-automatic AR-15. Uh, we also have an AR-10 platform. Basically, it started out as a way to get guns into restricted states, California, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Chicago, Canada, wherever. Uh, it turned into three prongs. So not only can you get this gun into a restricted state because it's non-restricted firearm, long range shooters are liking it because what happens is Basically, you're going to bolt lock every time. So you're going to fire the gun, it's going to eject, and it's going to hold back. So now you've got half impulse on that bolt carrier, so it's going to lock back. You're going to be able to track your shot instead of that bolt coming forward exactly when you're making impact. Track your shot, the, the chamber's open, so you're automatically cooling the weapon. You don't have to worry about locking it back. Your chamber's cooling. You can either single load round and or just drop the bolt on whatever magazine with bolts you have in it. Also, NRA and instructors are liking it a lot because now you can teach new shooters AR ergonomics and give them all the lessons, just take an upper, slap it on the slower, they can learn everything and you're not in semi-auto mode. They actually have to do that extra step to get the fire. Uh, if you're traveling to a state, you have an AR, you're going on vacation with your family or yourself, you want to bring your AR, but you can't, you want to be in compliance, you just take your upper off, slap it on a Fox unit lower, you're already sighted in, you're already gassed, you don't have to go to the range again, and you're good to go. Um, do a quick little demo. So it's always going to lock back, you're going to drop the bolt down. The other advantage um, that you'll see is if you have a bolt action where they're doing the straight pulls, you don't have to take your hands off the weapon, you don't have to take your cheek. Off the, get your cheek weld off and you can keep your eyes on target versus if you had a bolt you're going to have to come up. So if I'm right here I can just fire so you see as you can run that you can run it easy you can run it pretty fast it's, it's a practical weapon if you had to use it in self-defense you could use it would I want a semi-auto sure but this is the next best thing that you're going to get so you guys have any questions or Give it a whirl. Yeah, I want to shoot it, yeah. All right. Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Go wait for the heat side. Boxing in the magazine. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, you can shoot right here. They're sighted in at 102. All right, it's all, you're on you. Send it home. Still targets are 100 yards. They're all dialed in. Center mass. Yep. Yeah. So it has a oh. So every so time. You know, it's, 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 we call it. That's not a semi automatic weapon. It's a three shot learning curve. Every time when it lost it to the rear, you got to drop it every time. So you fire, you lock back to the rear, you drop. It's just a matter of. That is, that's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you got to shoot it, uh, yeah. the more you shoot it, the more yeah, you're going to get it. I mean, so you can also hit here if you do a magazine grip, so you can right. go even faster. Right. But even running from here, I get like a I, that's all center mass right there. It's a practical self-defense yeah, weapon if it needs like to be, came off of and it'll get you someplace. And it, it, the recoil is a lot softer because it is that half impulse. So I think you actually get a little bit more accurate. <laughs>